As a little disclaimer before we start, this video is sponsored by Video Proc Vlogger, but these opinions are all my own. And I would never take sponsorship from any company if I didn't think their project was actually helpful and valuable to you. So I just wanted to make that clear before we get into the rest of this video. Okay, so DigiRT Software released this program called Video Proc Vlogger, and it's completely free to use, and it's intended for beginner editors, like hobbyists, and people that just want a simpler experience when it comes to video editing. It's no secret that video editing is a complicated process, there's lots going on, and a lot of the programs that are out there at the moment aren't necessarily tailored to beginners and people that are just looking to get into it or just want a simpler experience uh, and that's what this program brings. Let's dive into it and I'll show you some of my favorite features. So once you've downloaded the software from their website, the link is in the description down below. It's available for Windows and Mac, which is great. Um, you'll be greeted by this screen. You open up your first project. And this is one of the first things that I really like about this software is that it is really simple to set up your first project. Lots of other pieces of software can have a very complicated interface here. You've then got your options for choosing your video resolution and your frame rate. These are simplified really well. Um, you've got a nice range of different frame rates here and resolutions. So you can use 4K, you can use 1080, and also aspect ratios that are popular for kind of TikTok and Reels and stuff like that uh, with like the iPhones and iPad uh, kind of aspect ratios. That's really great. It keeps it nice and simple so you don't need to remember any kind of complicated numbers. Then you've got your frame rate options once again nice and simply but you've got a nice range of different frame rate options all the way up to 120 frames per second if you're looking to kind of some more slow motion or action stuff uh, but that's really great. I'm going to select 25 for this uh, because that's kind of what I tend to edit my videos in. Once you started your project you'll be greeted by this screen and the first thing you're going to want to do is probably import your footage so you've got something to edit. It's really simple to do all you need to do is drag it into the library in the top left and all your clips will appear. So I've imported a bunch of the footage that I took at the Goodwood members meeting a few weeks back and I've been making quite a bit of content with it all. Let's get into some of my favorite features that make this happen. So down on the timeline, you've got a bunch of different tracks that serve different purposes and keeps your timeline nice and organized so you know where everything is. Firstly, you've got your video track, which is where all your videos go. You have an overlay track, an effects track if you wanna add some more bits to it, uh, an audio track as well as a subtitle track. This clip that I imported is actually filmed in 60 frames per second, so I want to be able to slow it down and make the most of my slow motion. I'm gonna be able to do that by using the speed ramp feature. This is one of my favorite bits about the program because it makes editing speed ramps so much more simple. You have a bunch of ready-made presets that you can just click on and they'll implement straight into your video, which makes editing this kind of thing really easy. You can also go ahead and make your own changes if whatever you chose doesn't quite fit what you need. Once you're happy with your speed ramp, just click apply and that'll apply itself to your footage. Often if you're filming something and you want to make it a little bit more exciting because the shot you got didn't have that much motion in it, you can use the motion feature to add that in afterwards and create a much more interesting shot. If you open up the motion editor, it opens up a window where you can add in artificial camera movement. This can allow you to make your footage so much more interesting and it does it really simply by giving you some more presets. Inside the motion editor you get two windows, one to actually see what's going on with the footage and what motion you're actually adding in, and then second one shows you the final result. Once you're happy with what you've got, you can just click apply and it applies to your footage. If you're anything like me, then you probably film your videos in a log profile. I use S-Log3 on my A7 Mark IV, and that means that my footage is very flat when it comes straight out of camera, and one thing that I do need to do is color it. This can be one of the most tricky stages when it comes to editing to try and get right, but in this software, it makes it really simple to use. All you need to do is head over to the right hand side and click on the color and filter editor. This editor gives you so much control over what your footage looks like. You can either manually adjust all your footage as you wish on the right hand side with all the different features from exposure, contrast, saturation, including HSL and vignetting as well, or you can choose a pre-made look from the left hand side. Or you can even add in your own custom LUTs for a look that you might have already made somewhere else. Some other notable features of the program are the transitions, the effects, and the titles. They're super easy to use. You just drag and drop them onto your clips and then you can adjust them how you wish. There's honestly so much you can do with this program. And what I like about it is that it's not over complicated. It's simplified so that it's easy to use and you don't have anything that you don't need. Then once you've finished editing your video, you can open up the export tab. And once again, it's simplified to make it easy to use. It's not over complicated and you can select your quality. I'd always go for high. You can choose your codec, your frames per second, uh, your audio. You can choose not to export it, to export it. Obviously choose the name of it and where it's gonna go. 
and the format that the video will be in and then you can just click start. If you're just starting out your video editing journey and you want something that's simple, easy to use but still packed with features, I definitely recommend checking out Video Prop Vlogger. The link to download it is down in the description below and it's free to try so if you're interested why not check it out. I'd like to thank Video Prop Vlogger for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel, I do really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you did enjoy the video, if you did make sure you leave it a like and subscribe so you get more videos just like this one and we've got more really exciting stuff coming up next week so you're not going to want to miss it. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.